us now is Franak Viakorka, Belarusian journalist and vice president of the Digital Communication Network. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Now, we, we've just heard the view there from one of the opposition figures saying we need the world to not recognize President Lukashenko. How likely is it that world leaders and authorities will listen to that appeal? Uh, that's crucial for success of the democratic transition in Belarus. Definitely Lukashenko lost authority and the power and legitimacy. And the only one important thing to ensure that the transition to the new elected government will be peaceful. But how likely is it that you think that some of the condemnation that we've heard, maybe let's even say from EU figures, the EU are meeting tomorrow to discuss specifically this, um, that they'll actually take some form of action? Uh, condemnation and statements are not enough to uh, succeed. Lukashenko understands only sanctions. And sanctions, not just economic, they should be very personalized, very targeted. And they should touch not just Lukashenko himself, but all the people who are uh, giving orders to shoot people and kill people right now. If these people will flip and will support the, the, the protesters, the democratic uh, leaders, then the system, the regime will collapse and we will be able to see uh, Belarus free. Do you think that's going to happen, though? I hope so. The problem is that it's August and many European leaders are on vacation and, and, and not many of them understand what really happens in Belarus. For many years, Belarus was absolutely dark spot on the map of Europe. And now we have to educate Europeans and Westerners about what, what, what's going on there. Many people believe that Lukashenko is the defender of Belarus independence. But in fact, Lukashenko was always the, um, the ally of Putin. And Russia will try to save Lukashenko. It needs Lukashenko to keep this buffer zone between European Union and Western civilization and Russia. So just finally, it, it sounds as though you think there isn't enough political appetite or desire from those bodies in Europe to actually engineer action. If that is the case, to what extent does it look like we're just going to see a return to status quo in Belarus and for the president? I hope they will have enough uh, bravery this time to impose real sanctions and to put, put real pressure on Belarus regime first to stop the violence and stop shooting people, second to release political prisoners and third to ensure transition to the new democratic government. That's the only way to succeed. On one hand there are protests, peaceful protests in Belarus and on the other hand it should be recognition of those protesters who want Belarus democratic as the real legitimate majority in Belarus. Thank you very much, Franak Viakorka, Belarusian journalist and vice president of the Digital Communication Network, speaking to us there.